it all begins here in the golden canola fields of southeastern Australia. By late spring, the canola stalks are mature and dry, ready for cutting into windrows. It's just the process of cutting it off so it all dries evenly and comes to maturity at the same time. So you can see the crop behind us varies from very ripe at the top of the hill here to quite green at the bottom of the hill. So we're just trying to bring that ripening process in so we can harvest it at the same time. Wagga Wagga, self-proclaimed capital of the Riverina, straddles the mighty Murrumbidgee. In the Wiradjuri language, the name means place of the crow. In far off India, this distinctive, very Australian sounding name is synonymous with Australian canola oil. Made from the freshest canola seeds from Wagga Wagga, Australia. Wagga Wagga Diabetes Care Oil, the Australian that helps control blood sugar. Wagga Wagga, as the ads call it, so it is uh, really great to see. I went over to India a month or so ago and to see it in a number of big supermarkets. Dicky. The ads are part of a joint campaign worth $10 million US to promote and sell the Wagga Wagga brand. And it helps control blood sugar. Wagga Wagga didn't mean anything to anybody there, but it's just something which is a fairly uh, distinctive name. The Indian grocery market is crowded and highly competitive. So the ads stress the health benefits, namely low blood sugar levels, of Australian canola oil. <laughs> Diabetes and heart are the two main issues in India. There's been a lot of oils launched at, at heart, whereas diabetes specifically, there hasn't been a lot of oils launched looking at diabetes care. So the fact that canola does have low blood sugars is good for the health. Obviously it doesn't solve it, but it, it's good for it, which is the premise of the brand. There, as elsewhere in the world, the so-called soft oils, such as canola, soybean and sunflower, have rapidly overtaken less healthy cooking oils, such as palm and tallow. The Wagga processing plant is strategically placed in the centre of the New South Wales canola growing area, close to rail and trucking routes. This year, half of the state's entire canola crop will end up here. So we're crushing 20 odd percent of the canola that's crushed in Australia. And uh, that has happened very quickly. I bet a few in the industry is quite surprised. It's a tiny seed, the size of a grain of mustard. There's a million seeds to a ton. Our factory crushes, therefore, 600 million seeds every day. We take out 99.5% of the oil. Australia produces, on average, say, 4 million tonnes and exports 3 million tonnes. You know, there's got to be the opportunity to value add to that farmer's hard work before the product leaves the shores. Growers are paid according to the oil content. A healthy crop yields at least 42% oil. We don't have many end products coming straight out of this region on a primary production end, so yeah, it's a, it's a good string to the local bow, I suppose, and get some direct exports overseas and get the name out, it's good. A few years ago, this large plant, close to Wagga's industrial estate, was merely a bare paddock. But the quest to add value to Australia's oilseed production began about a decade ago. The brainchild of this man, its managing director, Durav Deepak Saxena, mostly known simply as DD. Indians are stripping success stories in Australia and Indian has set up one of the world's best oil refineries in Australia. His story is absolutely unique. His story is the India story, which is about entrepreneurial capabilities. If you, when you look at startups, you have the maximum number of startups happening in the US, followed by Israel, and then where? It's in Bangalore, India. Indian-born DD Saxena had a stellar career in international business, 
mostly for multinationals in the food sector. He oversaw the building of new factories in half a dozen developing countries, but at one stage ran a $1 billion company. Senator, what are we having for dinner tonight? Didi and Indu Saxena and their two children moved to Australia two decades ago. Didi saw business opportunities in edible oils, especially canola. Which is fresh, which is reliable, which is high quality, which is food safe, which is everything that good quality food should mean. I've never seen anyone with so much resilience as Didi. Uh, he's an amazing fellow, he's that exuberant. We did push through a lot of hard yards, which is really pleasing now to see all that hard work come to fruition. We will be producing great quality canola oil from that plant for a long time. We're looking to double it at some point, and the journey's just begun. Simon Maloney's family farm is a short drive from the Wagga plant. Canola, cropped in rotation with wheat, has become a mainstay. It's a big part of our business, it's about 50%. It's a big part of what we do, and, and Robe down the road has become a fairly big part of our business as well. And yeah, we've delivered every grain in there for probably three years now and supported them when they started. Yeah, it's been a really good thing for, for what we're up to.